What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to another review. This review was interesting because I've done a handful of beta tests in my time. Never have I had such an ill experience before. The game that I'm referring to is Back for Blood which ran from the 12th to the 16th on every platform. Now diving into this game, it was kind of a roller coaster of emotions because on one hand, I love the controls, I love the accessibility features, I love the graphics, they were so good. The movement, because I was on mouse and keyboard playing this, just the movement alone, it was just so good, so well designed. But the community, that was, that was rough. <laughs> this game, in my opinion, from what I have seen so far from playing the game and experiencing it besides like maybe three people, it has a very toxic community. It kind of reminded me of the community from Call of Duty. Now there are exceptions because there are people within the community who are actually good, but a lot of bad eggs make it uh, like technically a bad experience for everyone else, unfortunately. This game, it, when it, oh god, when I went into this game, I went in experiencing it in a team with complete randos, with completely randomized people, and I think that's why I had such a poor experience with the people in the game, because I experienced like everything from people calling one another the n-word to calling me the c-word because they could hear me, I was on mic, and to just literally being the the worst like I don't even know how to sum it up it's things that I can't say on YouTube that's for sure there were even people telling me to get offline because I would be too slow at playing the game which by the way I got more points than the rest of my entire team there were people who got like maybe 50 or 30 or like 10 points I got 2,000 this game is literally like every zombie shooter game I have ever played that is a co-op gun them down get to the safe house and avoid getting eaten that being said I know there will be people who enjoy this game and will spend hours playing the game. I know there will be people who will literally just want to pass the time or play with friends or use this as a streaming game and that's fine. But me on the other hand, I kind of thought it was like Fortnite but with zombies if you will because the mechanics are very similar to that. They're very smooth, they're buttery, it's really good but just the concept was, it, it was boring. The controls are easy to work with, the graphics are amazing, and the setting is versatile. There's so much maneuverability going on, the, um, what is it, the graphics with the blood, like when it splatters all over you, it was really cool, it was really interesting to see that. But if you're looking for a gory type of game to play that's really interesting, you're better off playing The Last of Us. But you guys, that was my review of the early access campaign for Back for Blood. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I'm videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, and I also stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at either 6.30 or 7 p.m. EST. If you want to check out one of my videos, they'll be right over here for your viewing pleasure. I promise it is not going to be as bad as the early access for Back for Blood, that's for sure.